The Eurofox 3K, like any aeroplane, have their weak points and we're going to have a look through them now. So one of the first ones is the doors and the door handles and the door mechanism. Uh, the um, door mechanism is quite light. There's a six, one sixteenth of an inch cable with a rear pin that locks into the rear of the uh, cockpit. When we close the door on the Euro, Eurofox, we must open the door fully, push in where the handle is of about a kilo to relieve the pressure on the, uh, the door handle itself. Just like when we close the door on the outside, it's important to close the door correctly on the inside. The door's on a gas strut, so I must be careful not to slam the door. So we pull the door down to almost close. The gas strut will go over center and, and go to slam itself. So control the door, take the handle fully open, pull the door in nice and firmly with about a kilo or two pressure on the handle and that will take the load off the door handle itself and then fully vertical. There's a rear pin here. If you look in the back there, you will see the rear pin actuating, locking the rear of the door. Uh, the other uh, Achilles heel, if you like, or weak point of Eurofox is the nose leg assembly. The fiberglass main legs are very, very strong, but the nose leg not so. There's also a lot of mechanical parts on the nose leg. Uh, we have uh, the shock strut with the uh, spherical bearing here. We have the limit cable, which stops the, uh, the leg from extending or hyperextending. We've got uh, steering um, uh, control linkages. We've also got a steering snubber or shimmy damper and obviously a, uh, a fairing on there. So there's a fair bit of stuff going on here and uh, on the daily inspection, it's a pretty good idea to make sure that um, uh, there's no damage or nothing untoward with um, any breakages or, or bends or cracks. The other small uh, weakness of the Eurofox is the tail assembly. Um, uh, particularly the front uh, mounting attachment bolt can sometimes get a little loose. And the two rod ends here. Um, to test them, we hold onto the rod ends and the structure of the aeroplane we grab hold of the end of the, the tailplane and wiggle the, the tailplane up and down. If we, hear, if we can hear and feel the rod ends going click, 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 there's a bit of wear in them and they'll soon be replaced. Another important thing with the Eurofox to be careful of is the superficial fairing that's covering the chrome molly uh, uh, tubular structure. Uh, they're very superficial, very flexible and very thin. Uh, hence we have a, uh, the jury strut here is painted blue and we can hold onto this blue part of the jury strut all day and pull and push. However, no pushing on the fiberglass struts. They're very delicate. 